OD Excellence is the fastest growing optometric improvement company in the U.S. Started by industry leaders in May 2008, OD Excellence is helping optometric practices to become more profitable and efficient from small one office locations to large multi office groups. Over the next 20 minutes, you will see why an ever increasing number of optometrists are realizing the importance of aligning themselves with a group that will truly have a very positive impact on their practice. The Bain Report is a think tank with no financial interest with any entity in our industry. The current report discusses the state of our industry, including next year and particularly independent optometry based on over 6,000 customer interviews. The Bain Report breaks down the optometric population into three groups. Independent Loyalists. An independent loyalist is the patient who gets their professional care as well as glasses and contact lenses from their independent optometrist. Hybrid. This is the fastest growing segment. The hybrid patient gets their professional care from independent optometrists, but their glasses and contact lenses from big box stores. Chain Loyalist. A chain loyalist is a patient that gets their professional care as well as glasses and contact lenses from big box stores. An interesting point that came up was that consumers are now more interested in the retail component than they are in professional services. 65% of professional services are still provided by independent optometry, but only 45% of the glasses are purchased from independents. Managed care programs are shifting to big box stores as providers because of expanded hours, better merchandising, packaging for the cost conscious, transparent pricing, and better staff training. The Bain Report also tells us that sales of online glasses, which are now approximately 5% of all glasses sales, could go as high as 20%. The question to ask yourself is, what will you do over the next year or two? to prepare your practice to compete and survive, and more importantly, thrive. OD Excellence is helping its members to make the appropriate changes to thrive in this very difficult market. By helping our members anticipate the changes that are taking place and assisting in implementation, our members will see improvements in efficiencies, net profit, and owner compensation. Here are some action items that you can do to counter what the big box stores are doing. Online sales. Counter with transparent pricing. Allow patients to schedule appointments online. Accelerate turnaround time with production of glasses. Inventory contact lenses for patient convenience. And make sure you have a value board of frames and bundle pricing to be more than competitive with commercial outlets. National chains. Counter with exemplary customer service. Hire a professional merchandiser for your frame boards. Make sure your patients have multiple price options. Expand your hours of operation. Managed care programs. Make sure managed care patients, as well as all of your patients, have a great experience in your office. Conduct interviews to make sure these patients are very happy with their visit. Be sure to add a managed care board with a great selection of high margin frames. Do not call this board managed care. OD Excellence will help you become more efficient and increase your profitability. Here are some of the most common problems practices are facing today. Staffing. Rebecca Johnson, our Director of Staff Education, has customized modules for every staff member in your practice. These training modules cover all the positions including individuals with no optometric experience, as well as opticians, front desk, optometric assistants, and managers. These modules are continually updated with added training pearls that will keep your staff motivated and current. Continuing education will also be offered to your staff that will count towards their credentialing. Financial Management Profit and loss statements are very critical in any business. OD Excellence members are taught the correct format for P&Ls and how to interpret them. In order to run your practice like a business, you need to understand the impact different aspects of your practice can have on your profitability. OD Excellence will also give you benchmarks that will compare you to best practices and what you will need to do to improve those metrics that are below par. 
Many practices have cash flow issues. Even when they are busy and frequently, this relates to poor collections. OD Excellence will show you how to monitor your aging reports to eliminate the cash flow problems. Putting together a yearly marketing campaign with a budget is critically important. Lack of planning can cost a practice significantly in hard-earned dollars. Increased patience. The number one issue optometric offices have is the delivery of new patients. Using traditional advertising methods are very expensive and the return can be quite disappointing. Our consulting team will help you bring in new patients. They will explain what promotional venues work and how vendors may pay for it. Lowering your cost of goods. The two most important parts of your P&Ls are your cost of goods and labor costs. Many optometric practices have a cost of goods as a percentage of net sales that is over 30%. In a typical $600,000 practice, lowering your cost of goods just 1% adds $6,000 to the bottom line. Many OD Excellence members have lowered their cost of goods 5% or more, and using the same example would add $30,000 to the bottom line. Traditional buying groups have become standard pricing, and the OD Excellence Alliance Vendor Partners is giving our members much better pricing than any buying group. The OD Excellence Alliance Partners is helping members reduce costs on their lab bills, frames, contact lenses, contact lens solutions, and over-the-counter eye care. Improving the patient experience. We recommend that all practices have a survey or interview form upon completion of the visit. Here are some examples of eye-opening comments that are voiced. When making my appointment, the individual on the phone was rude and they interrupted me several times. When I checked in at the front desk, the receptionist was on the phone and paid little attention to me. The technician doing my pretest never took the time to explain what the tests were for. By the time the doctor finished the exam, I had other appointments and was not able to order glasses. The optician seemed disinterested in my needs when selecting frames and lenses. When checking out, the staff member never explained why my portion of the bill was so high. What experience tells us is that we need to correct the problem quickly or we can lose the patient. A patient who is dissatisfied will leave your office and will voice their dissatisfaction to friends, family, employers. If it is a managed care patient, the survey helps us correct the problem before they turn it over to their employer. The employer would in turn contact the managed care program and voice a similar complaint. 